Well, hey everybody, it's John from Deer Addiction. It's been a while since I've done a chestnut video and we're gonna get started here. Getting a little later start than typical. Previously, I would start trees in February, grow them in the, in the basement. And then the problem with that was that I would get great looking trees, but then you had to harden them off. And hardening off chestnuts has proven to be a little harder than oaks. It's possible to be done, but you know, people really wanna buy trees in April, and early May here and by the time we get past the frost date to get trees hardened off enough that if I give them to people uh, they just don't get the concept of hardening off as well. I'll tell people these trees are not fully hardened off. You need to put them in an area that gets minimal sun uh, for a couple more weeks and just gets two three hours of sun and then they burn up and I feel bad for that. I've replaced some of those uh, and people will blame themselves but again I'm mainly wanting these people to have good experiences and so I'm going to try to build a table today. It's air pruned and it's still, still going to use my 3 by 8 pots that I've been using. I've shown those before from Greenhouse Mega Store. So follow along as we start our build. air pruned so it's going to be up off the ground and the roots can grow down but they won't be in touch with the ground so the roots should reach that air and then spread and get good root, root development. I'm a little worried about them drying out a little when I'm not out here but I do come out here frequently during the summer and we have the eastern sun on this side it comes up over this way and goes to the west. We have next to us some sumac trees and a big maple tree and I think uh, these trees have done well because they don't completely dry out. And so we'll just have to see how they do. If it is drying out too much, I may have to hook up some water. We do have water right here. That's why I'm choosing this area. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. But that's why I, I would like to have it out here so I'm not cluttering the house as much. And uh, we're going to get going. Exterior tree today. I use this for a lot of things. Love using the hammer drill for these things. pre-cut some of these boards at home. We're gonna put this half inch hardware cloth down in order to keep the mice and so forth out. Then we'll put this, I don't know exactly what this is called, mesh sheet. It's about six inch square as a reinforcement for strength and then put some two befores there too. So we have to put the legs on this thing. I call all these the even, even sizes.
the legs are six by six treated. And uh, they're left over from a roof over the deck that we had put in at our, at our house last fall. Got have a break. Get my old dollar Diet Coke from McDonald's. Good stuff. Any of you guys that go out west hunting, I did draw Montana. Hopefully my twin brother can get one this year. We went two years ago and I got one. So we're gonna chase elk in late October. Got some interested geese here. Just gonna use some three quarter inch hot galvanized poultry net staples to hold this down. Got a northern flicker yelling at me. We'll run the edge down. Trying to make it all look about the same. It was 80 a couple days ago here. It's in the 50s, low, low 60s today, with just a touch of sun shining through. I don't think I want much more. I may have to go down to a short sleeve shirt here. It's starting to look like work. We're gonna put this wire mesh here. It's not quite four foot wide but then we're gonna put two before pieces over it. And that'll help stabilize uh, this to some degree. I don't know if I brought something strong enough to cut this though. Okay. Now all we gotta do is cut a couple more here on this side. Just gonna run it along this two before. Get a little smoother than the grass. Okay, our next thing we're gonna do is put a top on this that can be easily removed, but it's also gonna be wire caged in so no birds or mice can't come in from the top. So 
This is where we're going to stop this part of the build. Catch up with us next time as we finish the top to this and put the actual plants out. And we're going to start many of our chestnuts outdoors so that they get hardened off easily this time. So be sure if you like this, click that thumbs up. If you want to see the next one and get notified, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Anyway, uh, thanks for following us here at Lake Erie Chestnuts. Remember, if you're not growing, you're dying.